When you describe someone's state of mind, what are you referring to? Hey, that works for me. Monumental landmarks. We've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Sporty! Hi ho, Barney the Smart Board here. Take a look at this photo I took on my last vacation. Where am I? Taste test. You'll be saying a mamma mia when you display this skillfully carved, finely painted, handmade wooden boy. Place this puppet of Pinocchio on a shelf in your living room, or even put him next to you in the car to cheat your way into using the carpool lane without an actual passenger. In fact, take him with you everywhere you go. After all, he's got the whole world to see. There was a U.S. Supreme Court case in 1893 that determined that a certain food item should be classified as a vegetable, even though it's botanically defined as a fruit. What food item was the topic of debate in that case? That's pretty based. Probably geography. A miniature version of the famous statue, the Thinker. Just think of all its many uses. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I think you could think of one if you thought about it long enough. A certain continent features a region called the Indian subcontinent, which contains countries such as India, Nepal, and Bangladesh, among others. What continent is this region located in?
Eyes on the prizes. <laughs> what is the slogan of Shovelware's Dinosaur Place, Shovelware Studios Dinosaur Theme Theme Park, and Dino Petting Zoo? Taste test. <laughs> Coffee is made by roasting and blending a certain something. What is that certain something? Shovelware Studios. In Shrunken School Lobby, you come across two quiz sections. Hey, this whole game is a quiz section. <laughs> anyway, which character sets up the second one? That's pretty based. <laughs> Shapes and such. What kind of triangle has one angle that measures precisely 90 degrees? With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fantastic sides and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight awesome angles, this octagonal eye catching sign is perfect for sprucing up your neighborhood. Oh man, oh that sounded bad. Um, if anyone asks, this isn't a real one we took from the nearest four way intersection. Here's our Shovelware's Brain Game Grand Champion! That's a wrap for this episode. Tune in next time for more of the same! Ha, I'd like to see that pompous pepper over two locations put on half a show as good as this. Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by the Admiral Electronic Catalog. People still buy things from product catalogs, right? <laughs>